I was uh, doing my yoga the other day, and I looked on my bookshelf, and there's a book, God Wants You to Be Rich, by Paul Zane Pilser. That's a pretty good book. Um, I question a lot of even, the, you know what I mean? Is there a God? And that's a question. Does God want me to be rich? I really question that. I don't. If there is a God, I don't think he or she has the time or gives a shit about me. Um, or the planet, for that matter. If there is a God, it's looking like they're not really paying that much attention to what's going on here, and they're letting some really unsavory people run this planet. But mm, that's a personal opinion. But Pilzer had a good point in his book. One of, his, one, of, one of the things he said was, if you wanted to take over the planet, if you wanted to you know, have a world domination, which I don't want to suggest that maybe America wants that. I don't want to suggest that at all, that there's any hegemonic or imperialistic tendencies to the, Amer the United States government. Woe be me be the one to suggest that that's there. But Pilzer says, if you wanted to take over the world... What would you want? What, you, what would you want it to look like? What you would want it to look like is you would want them watching your movies, you would want them listening to your music, you would want that you want them to be wearing your clothes, your fashions, everything, and then you would have control over people. And if you go, I was in America and I bought a pair of Timberline boots and uh, I got them for fifty bucks, I think something like that. Right? I got jeans for thirty-five. If I go down down Zurich, the jeans are one hundred and sixty bucks, and the Boots are somewhere around 200 because it's trendy. It's fashionable to be seen in American gear, especially Levi's and things. So they mark up these huge prices. Now, I don't know who's making all that money, but somebody is. And it's entertaining as hell to me that they're doing it. But we as a culture were on our way. We were on our way. People were listening to our music. One of the things he said, you know, the Japanese send us these great cars and the Americans whine about it, that it's unfair, right? And they get uh, natural-born killers. <laughs> you know, their, their kids get to watch natural-born killers, which is part of our production from Hollywood. But I know we're going through economic tough times right now. The meltdown has to happen. Uh, we're in an age where corrupt systems are not going to withstand this time frame. They're not going to last being hegemonic and warring and imperialistic is not going to last. People are going to start standing on street corners and saying, this isn't working. What's coming next? I don't know. I know that the system has to collapse. I am a Scorpio. That's how I was born in Scorpio, that tendency to have things collapse and restart again. They're part of my life. You know what I mean? I look at the impermanence that the Buddhists talk about, and I kind of like that. So when I look at it, I don't know what God wants. I'm not going to be that presumptuous or that arrogant to state that God wants everything, anything for me. I think we came onto the planet to live happy lives, which is what I want to look at with you on how to do. Um, if you're not happy, you've learned how to be unhappy. Okay. If you're sad, you've learned that. You've used a lot of your intelligence to learn how to do that. And when we can look at, see, can we switch the mechanism to your happiness mechanism, open up your heart, let you love people for no particular reason, your life might work a little bit better. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com. I'm Mick, by the way.